I'm Mitchell Silva. I am the founder of Asperity Patient Centrics, and we develop solutions to empower patients. The Clinical Trial Portal is uh, a portal for patients to search for clinical trials uh, in a way that they can find the information in local language, uh, so in Dutch or French or English, but also in an understandable way. Because uh, often, uh, when you search for clinical trials, uh, this is uh, only the information is only available in English and uh, very complex terminology. And this is exactly what we want to do. We want to make sure this information becomes available in an understandable language and in local language. So patients can go to clinicaltrial.be and they can uh, search uh, some keywords, uh, for example, breast cancer uh, with a certain mutation, uh, a BRAC mutation uh, in Brussels, for example. And then you will see the list of the ongoing clinical trials. And uh, as a patient, you can then uh, go over uh, the content. If you have an interest in participating, you can or uh, take this material to your physician or you can contact us uh, so we can actually help you to navigate uh, the system and bring you um, in contact with the right person. The next step for the clinical trial portal is uh, to further develop the, the access points for hospitals and for uh, pharmaceutical companies and patient organizations. So uh, all these different stakeholders, they can actually log in into their own portal uh, to see what the um, different trials are in their therapeutic area. And uh, the next uh, point we're working on is actually using artificial intelligence as well to make sure that uh, we can really classify the right trial and map uh, the right trial with the, the right uh, institute, hospital, for example. Uh, but also work on inclusion exclusion criteria um, where we can ask questions to patients to see whether there are or not uh, possible uh, matches uh, for a certain clinical trial. What contributed to make the clinical trial portal a success is uh, for sure kind of a feasibility study we did uh, actually before really diving in uh, to full development. So first we really uh, listened to all the different stakeholders and uh, Hack Healthcare was a very important part of that. Um, where we also learned, okay, what are the challenges that, uh, for example, hospitals face, patients face, physicians face, um, and uh, also what are the technical um, yeah, possibilities, the, the legal restrictions, the regulatory and compliance restrictions. So we actually mapped all of this, and based on this, we really went very deep uh, into a technical requirement analysis that was the starting point of, for developing and launching the whole system. The difficulties we encountered uh, were especially related to okay, the regulatory framework. Uh, you cannot communicate whatever you want about clinical trials. You really have to make sure that you do things in a, in a decent way according to the, the legislation. And um, we actually uh, talked to a lot of uh, lawyers, of course. Uh, we got a lot of feedback. Uh, how, what can we do? What can't we do? But also, how do we translate all of this into a technical aspect in the platform? Uh, for example, if we will get audited one day, uh, we have to make sure that we can prove who has changed the content, uh, uh, or is all the information approved by ethics committee, for example. Um, so all of the whole legislation um, and the legislative aspects have an impact on the technical development. So this was for sure one of the, the biggest challenges. Hack Healthcare brought to the clinical trial portal the amazing opportunity to network and to validate your assumptions in two days. So we have basically all the stakeholders together, uh, going from patients, uh, uh, industry, um, to hospitals, uh, you name it, they're all there during these days. And uh, you can actually really validate assumptions. You can see, does it make sense to further develop the solution, yes or no? And uh, so Hack Healthcare was a really uh, amazing uh, opportunity and at the same time also the perfect moment uh, to really uh, assure ourselves that this is the right way to, to move ahead. One thing that uh, participants of Hack Healthcare should bring is an open mind, uh, mingle with all the participants because you have everyone together in one room uh, and um, you have amazing energy. Uh, so be open uh, and really just participate, play the game. Mm -hmm.